I saw something chasing right in front of me. Something big like crazy right there. Fish on, fish on. No, it's still there. It's still there. Good morning and welcome to another episode. Today I'm excited. We're doing some weight fishing. It's been a while since I've done it. I have a lot of white bait with me, a lot of pinfish. We're gonna throw some lures. But before we head to the water, I have a nice product to review that has a lot to do with wading. We got this wader sent from the cod. This is dry cod. Uh, I'm gonna include the link down on my description, of course, with discount code. Or you can visit drycodeusa.com for more products. But today we're just reviewing the waders. It's the time of the year. Winter is here, guys. Waders gonna be a must. All right. Let's see what else is included on the box. We have a waterproof case for our phone with a hanger, of course. We're gonna have this in the water with us. That's a need. We have a belt, I think, for your waist. Another belt with a, with a hook on it, so I guess to uh, hook your catch. And I guess this is with some glue. So this is a patch in case you have an accident, you, you just uh, make a hole on your waders. And of course the waders, guys, I can see and feel them, they're heavy and thick. That's what we need here for those uh, winter weeks. Water gets cold, even Florida is hot, water gets so cold. So, we have a nice front pocket, very big for a lot of chocolate there. I'm gonna put some chocolate, uh, pliers, side pockets. Thick material, the cushion inside, I like it already, guys. This is well insulated, let's see. Dry coat right there, waterproof, insulated. So not only you're not gonna get wet, but you're not gonna be cold. You have an inside pocket for whatever all, all other tackle you wanna add in there. They look good. So I got this number nine, the boots, super duty looking. I like that. I got them number nine. I got them a little bigger, but it's better to, it's easier to get in on them when they're a little bigger than being small. Usually I wear eight, eight and a half size shoes, but these are nine. We'll be okay, just half size bigger. All good, good looking. Yeah, let's uh, let's go and put this on and hit the water and try to catch some fish. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, feels good. Little loose, but we like them that way because it's easy to put them in and out. Oh, yeah. They're gonna be perfect for Apollo Beach, guys. You know me, I spend hour, two hours in the water to catch that bait and when I come out, I'm freezing. So, I'm happy with the product. Feels good, looks good. This is a need. You need your phone with you. Nowadays, you can do anything without that phone with you, guys. And it's touch screen, of course. You can work the phone. I love it. Ready for some action, ready for some action. We started with a greenie. Number one out circle hook. We're gonna start with this and take it from there. If you see any big fish, might increase. 20 pound uh, flora leader. Uh, using the pump on a jig setup. Medium uh, fast action rod. 3000 uh, ballistic on this. Should do the job. Now trout look like my camera was off. Hello. I saw it was popping on top. I, I I knew there was a trout there. Not a bad size. Nice trout. Let's see what else is there.
images. Go and switch area, go somewhere else. Come on. Something is taking it. Let's see. Fish on. Seems we found something better. Nice trap. One of our species. Nice, beautiful trout. See, almost left and found a nice hole here with trout. Let's see if there are more. Look at that, guys. Nice, beautiful trout right there. See ya. Let's see. Try a couple times here. I know there is some good fish in this side as well. But yeah, you're right, there's a lot of action going on there. Let's see if a trout gonna enjoy this greeny. Fichon, fichon. Oh, flounder. Hey, your friend is here. I tell you, there's some nice flounders here. Baby flounder. I mean, it's okay. It's wallet. We have to go and uh, bring the pliers this time. Forgot to get the pliers. All right, you guys, this is day two of weight fishing. Uh, day one was okay, just some trout, you know, nothing much going on. We'll figure out to come and fish a uh, cypress area. Like you see, it's very crazy low tide. We're gonna, reach, we're gonna go all the way out and reach the depth. Which the idea is to find some uh, fish on uh, deeper water, so let's see the water and catch some fish. All right, you guys, finally found a feed of water, but I am exhausted. So, number two circle hook, 20 pound leader, tiny greeny. We're gonna start with this. Finally found some deeper pockets here. We work in a the grass flats and trying to find you know those uh, deeper pockets on the sand there trout usually just hang around those areas or redfish do the same oh man this was tiring i walked all the way from there there's no way to park here so we had to leave the car all the way there geez walking a mile away in this mud it's a lot of work fish on fish on we found one guys finally oh, after all the walk Oh man, that's a good one, guys. Oh yeah. It feels like a good red to me. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, they are in deeper waters. There's nothing on that skinny water there. Ah, it's a Jack Ravel. Got me excited, man. It's okay. We'll take it. But yeah, it's a jack. And I have to move because if I stay in one spot, I go deeper in this sand. So let me find a nice... <sighs> right here. Oh, okay. This is not bad. You have to find patches where the sand is compressed and you don't sink in. First fish of the day. We got a good grip. There you have it guys, first fish of the second day, it's a nice jerk roll. Something is chasing, come on. Fish on. Oh, nice. What is it this time? Something smaller. I didn't see it. Oh, kitty, kitty. No, don't want this guy here. I have to walk this guy on the shore. I can deal with him right here. Look at that, guys. Found kitty. We're almost by the bridge now. It's kind of deep. I cannot go farther. is biting in this side. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, snake. 
Oh well. Not bad. Okay. It was under the bridge, so let's send, send another greeny under. Let's see if anything else is there. Something good. There it goes. Fish on. That's a snook. Oh yeah, that's a good snook. Finally found some fish. Not crazy big, but hey, we'll take it. Come on, Snooky. Been looking for you everywhere. There you have it, guys. Come on, stop shaking. Baby Snooky. We'll take it though. See ya. Okay, we're good. Let's go for another one. Let's go for a bigger one. Yeah, they're kind of inside, inside that bridge inside the tunnel there on the right which I cannot go farther fish on what is this? oh it's pulling now it's a good fish maybe a jack again wherever it is it came easy and now it's just fighting Oh, come on. No, not there. Yeah, he's already there. Oh, come on, come Jakey, it's a good size, Jake. Whoo, look at that, guys! Nice Jack Crevel. We'll just cut the line on this guy, uh, his wallet, so not gonna even bother. Show our snooky in sight. Oh, yeah, nice. I like the tunnel right there. Ah. Man, that was a good snook. That was a good snook. I saw something chasing bait like near the rocks. Uh oh, I think it's rain. Oh, fish on, fish on. I knew it was something chasing baby in the rocks. What is it? Trout? Or snook? Oh, it's snook. Oh well. It's gonna start raining soon, so... We wanna catch whatever we can. Look at that beauty right there. Look at that, guys. Thank you for the catch. Fast release. I throw one more. So he was kind of on the side of those rocks behind me, actually. I saw him just chasing bait. I saw something chasing right in front of me. This area somehow got fishy. 
like it. Okay. Stanley was chasing bait like crazy right there. Let's see if they still around. Okay. Uh oh. Fish on. Fish on. And Charlie got fishy. Oh, oh no, he's still there. He's still there. Oh, he's taking me by the. Ah, he's taking me by the pilot. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, he's getting out. Come on. He's cooperating. Come on, let me see. Oh yeah. From no action to a lot of action now. Jack, Snook, Snappy, I take it. Well, these guys fight. I hear that uh the leader grinding in his uh, front teeth, so I hope he doesn't break. Oh, that's a biggie. That's a biggie. Bigger than the first one. I got him. There you have it guys, let me grab my pliers and get him out from there, but nice Jake. I love these tiny pliers man, so easy to work with us. See ya! I'm pumped right now, let's go for one more. Come on. Fish on, fish on. There you go. This is gonna be our last fish if we can land. Come on. Is that a snook or is it another jack? Let's walk in this way. Oh, it's a jack. You can hear that uh, line grinding again. All right, you guys, we still have the jack. I had to hold the jack with one hand make him tired and uh, change the battery. We ran out of battery right when I, I uh, hooked the jack, so I have to drag him all the way here on the shallow and uh, try to land him here and uh, I guess end this video right here. Who we'll managed to land this jack, I guess? It's right here. Yeah, boy. It's not as big as the first two. There you have it guys, nice Jack Ravel right there, so we'll cut the line, this guy uh, swallowed. There you go again, we let this guy go. What a day. We started very slow, like you saw, was no water. Flats were all empty. I have to go on the deeper water to find some uh, fish. As soon as I got to the channel near that bridge, I start catching jacks, uh, catfish, snapper, a snook. So I'm happy with today's results. Always a day or two be uh, before in the storm, guys. Just head out there, you'll be surprised with the results. Thanks again to Dry Coat for sending me these beautiful waders. If you guys are interested on waders like that, link gonna be down in my description with discount code. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like always, please like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.